Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and I am wearing green today and also a toadstool. Why did I say toad like that? Because we're gonna carry on with the froggy friend, frog fanatic, froggy scenario. Also, just a hot tip, never just type frog into TikTok because there are some videos that are not PG, they are not rated 12, this is not like The Sims. I feel like I have been scarred. I was just looking for some inspiration, maybe some funky little frog jokes, you know, on the old frog talk. Lesson learned, the hard way. I had to see it, I don't want you suffering that same fate. It is not safe frog work. Oh my word, yeah, I forgot we were on like 60, oh, we're not even on 69 anymore of the bread one, but but I have decided to make my life easier. I just added in this little like barbecue over here because we obviously need to get our cooking up to a level seven so that we can make that frog hot pot. A lot of you were not fans of the frog hot pot, which I understand, especially in like a challenge like this. I feel like they could have done something that didn't mean that you were bringing like harm to the frogs. Cause like the breeding could just be more like I just want more frogs in the world and like conservation and stuff like that. Obviously this was released for Earth Day, it was to celebrate the earth and frogs and nature and things like that so I understand why it isn't agreeable for a lot of you but I do need to get to a level 7 all of the same. Right, you're gonna need to go to the loo. Where are we at with our cooking? We're a level four, so we're not doing too badly, to be honest. I played a tiny bit off screen. That was actually my bad. I fully forgot that I shouldn't be playing and I just got too into it. I have decided that I live in this waterfall now. <laughs> I haven't been home all day. I feel like I probably should have just had my sim live in Sulani. I think that would have been the easiest thing, like literally, but I have been living here in my short lifespan legacy. So I didn't want the videos to feel too similar, but I mean, we spent all of our feckin' time here anyway, let's be real. I think one of you said that you managed to do this in five sim days. I think I've been going, wait, we start on a Sunday. So I've only been going not even two sims days yet, which I think is pretty impressive. All we need is two more common frogs, one more uncommon, and then we need to work on our rares. It's like, catching Pokemon, I swear, it's so blummin' difficult to get. Cooking level five, we only have two more to go. <gasps> we got a bullseye, is that we hit the bullseye and it's a rare, nice. I wanna breed this with my surfer eggplant who I think is my other rare one, maybe not. I truly still believe that we should be able to talk to our frogs and that our frogs should help with our social interactions. I'm honestly offended that that wasn't thought about and that I also haven't thought about it before now. How are you gonna call a scenario a frog fanatic and not even have them be able to talk to frogs? Whilst my sim is sleeping, these are all the frogs frogs that I have so far. So these are my five, yeah. <laughs> I should not have struggled to add how many frogs there are here. These are my five common ones. They're actually super cute. Apparently one of you lot, oh, that one's got a little fly. Is he gonna get it? <gasps> I did not know their little tongues came out. Also, I love how their logs genuinely look like chocolate logs that I make at Christmas. I had no idea that they ate. But yeah, apparently one of you told me, which to be fair, if you have any fun frog facts, leave them down below. I freaking love seeing those. One of you told me that they needed to like close their eyes when they were swallowing because they apparently like swallow using their eyes and if they didn't then they'd like pop out. I don't know if I got that factually correct but I'm fairly sure that's what I remember reading. Oh it does have a little bullseye on its back. Cute. Nine out of nine on the breeding. That's what I love to hear. I've decided to go for an inspirational shower because look at how close we are. How many do we need in total? We need two of these, 
three, four, five. We only need five more frogs to potentially complete this on our third day. We're cooking level six, we're only one off. I am making French toast because I have been told that I have a French face. I don't know what it is about me. One time I was on holiday in like Fort Ventura and it was all fully catered. So you just like kind of went up to the buffet and this man came up to me and started talking to me like in fluent French and I was like oh I'm really sorry like I was taking French in school at the time but I didn't know it like that well to be able to like have a conversation with him. No, to be honest, I'm not sure. Don't go with Katrina Makoa. You're my friend, you can't have any other friends. It's me and the frogs and nothing else. But yeah, I said to this guy, I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, like, I'm not French. Like, I can't understand it. Like, I'm, I'm English. And he broke out into a Yorkshire accent and was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I thought you were... I'm not gonna do a Yorkshire accent because you will find that offensive. But yeah, he basically thought I was French even though he was English, which honestly is kind of impressive. He just, I think he just wanted to flex on me that he knew how to speak French. Makoa, I told you it was me and the frogs and me and the frogs only. So therefore we're gonna be, we're gonna discuss local fishing spots with you, buddy. Making my way to the waterfall to catch some frogs because they're my only friends. <laughs> Feeding all my pals because they are hungry and they need to be bred. Bred and fed. That's a way to a frog's heart. I can't believe there are so many TikToks about how frogs actually breed with one another. That's actually quite disturbing. Why are people recording that, the poor frogs? <gasps> Do not go snorkeling. I hate snorkeling. Ugh, it's like one of my biggest fears. I just, I don't like it. I think it comes from being knocked out multiple times by boards, which sounds ridiculous. I was knocked out by a foam bodyboard. How does that happen? The sea is dangerous. And if you don't know about the sea, you should be very, very careful, pals. I, when I was like, 14 years old, a really big wave hit me and the board went into my head and knocked me out. And that's also happened with a surfboard too whilst I was surfing in Portugal once upon a time. Um, so yeah, I think my fear of snorkeling comes from tasting salt water one too many times. I actually, like I don't have many fears. Like I'm not a big fan of big spiders. I'm not talking about like the little ones. Everyone has these little like funky TikTok accounts for like their little jumping spiders like this account will not make you scared of like spiders anymore and I'm like bestie those weren't the spiders that I was scared of to begin with the spiders that I was scared of are the big fuck off house spiders that the UK has I don't particularly like spiders I wouldn't say it is like a fear I think that like scuba diving is actually like a deep rooted fear of mine. I don't think I could ever do it. Like if you offered me a million pounds, I would jump at the chance to have a million pounds. If you said you were gonna give me a million pounds for going scuba diving, I would have to think about it really, really hard. And that's how you know I'm serious. If you told me to go skydiving for like a million pounds, I would absolutely do it. No doubt about it. Scuba diving? No, thank you very much. Hey, we got a leopard frog uncommon. <gasps> Does that mean we have, we have all of our uncommon breeds. We got six out of six. We need six out of eight for common and two more for our rare ones. But we also got a level seven in our cooking skill, which means we have we're gonna have to do the frog hot pot, which I'm really not looking forward to. Oh, it's on this as well. A slow boil seals the fate of succulent wild caught frogs. A fiery frog blood broth infused with green peppercorn, ginger, and chili fills the sim with amphibian zeal. You know what? That actually sounds real good though. <gasps> I'm scared as to, please don't tell me you just use rare frogs, please. Oh my God, do we still have our rare frogs? I swear, if you used a rare one, you used a rare one. We only have one. Why is my sim self like this? I can't believe that we're cooking our frogs. This is so sad. I hate this. I feel like a savage 
don't even taste that. I'm gonna be so mad if you like taste that and go like, mmm. Those eyes are the eyes of a serial killer. Look at me, I know exactly what I've done. I hate myself, I've never hated myself more. It's a normal quality, I didn't even make a good one. Pick up a serving, let's eat it. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna have to try it. Oh my God, Isafina, <gasps> look at her hair. Oh my word, she's matched her makeup to her hair. Friendly introduction. I want her to be my friend. Oh, it actually did give us a special mood alert, at least. Amphibian agility. Catching and eating the slipperiest frogs has given Molly enhanced reflexes and senses. With an extra leap in her step, catching frogs, swimming, fishing, and other physical pursuits should be easier. Well, now I know that that is a straight up lie because I tried to catch frogs and I instead caught the eyes of Sulani, a heart of Sulani, and also some white cake. I do wish this kind of increased your chances of getting like rare ones. I feel like that should give back to you. I almost just froze my bloody tits off for these frogs. Look how cold I was. But I decided if The Sims is all about playing God, I'm gonna start playing God with our frog breeding because it needs to happen. The frogs can't be left to chance, I've decided. <laughs> So what I'm gonna try and do is figure out how to breed them. Of course, to get scientific, I had to run to the most scientific person I know in the Sims community. The one who corroborates, is that the word that I'm looking for? All of our data. And that is of course the one and only Carl Sims guide. What an icon, what a legend. I absolutely adore Carl. Whenever I have a question that comes to technical within the game. Carl's guides is where I go. And Carl, I'm gonna leave it linked down below in case you are having trouble with this, but I mean it makes sense. Once you like read it and like make sense of it, it absolutely makes sense. Like it's basically, so you have these who are all like the, they're the basics. They are the thoroughbreds. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. They are the ones that are just like the base stat of frogs. And then you have the stripe variants, you have the spotted variants, which we actually have all of the spotted variants of the frogs. I don't know how we got there, but we did. Then we have the surfer variants. And then lastly, which are the ones that I have the least of, we have the whirl variants. And I have the least of these because three of them are rare and two of them are uncommon. I'm fairly sure that common frogs are the hardest to get because there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you need all eight of the common frogs. So that means let's take our dirt frog because then we have the base of a dirt frog and then let's take a, a, we'll go for a striped leaf frog because then we have the striped attribute and we also have the dirt attribute attribute and then let's breed them and see if we boom it is that flipping simple we got ourselves a striped dirt frog that wasn't a hundred percent we could have had like a 25 percent chance of getting like maybe another one of these another one of these or just a regular leaf frog because obviously we had the leaf frog attribute so we could have got either four of these and that's pretty much how it goes for all of the frogs but of course i do have to give them a little bit of a break because if i learn anything from tiktok this morning it's the fact that frog breeding can actually take a while Who who knew? I did. Thanks TikTok. Who said TikTok wasn't educational? Here we go. We're gonna go with the striped heart frog. Oh my word. We got sunflower. Oh, it's uncommon. How did we get you? Where did you come from? You're a new one to the mix. Nice. We got our regular heart frog. I will say this is definitely, I could have like probably halved my time of doing this 
if I had actually just looked up at a table earlier. I did feel like it was slightly cheating though, but I mean, it's common sense once you kind of know it. I feel like now that I know this knowledge, <gasps> that means we have all of our common ones. So we're only missing two rare, which can be like our Sun Surfer and Whirly Flower. Yeah, I feel like I'm never gonna forget this. This is very valuable knowledge, I will say. Thank you, Carl. I have indeed started my notes app of frogs. <laughs> This is how I play video games when I'm looking to like tick stuff off. I love having a good to-do list. I love being able to tick something off or delete something from my notes. It is honestly my motivation in life. Only reason I record videos, they're on my to-do list. No, I absolutely love recording videos. Right, we're gonna do you with my yeah, we are with our surfer eggplant. Oh, we just got another surfer eggplant. That's not what we needed. I got a sun surfer. Are you absolutely freaking kidding me? I've been sat here for like 20 minutes trying to find this dude. I have two of them in my inventory. Right, we're going home. We can definitely finish our collection just with breeding. I was buzzing to get this finished. I started on Monday in game time and it's now like Thursday. Oh, it's been so long. My sim has almost like wet herself. She's so cold and tired and needs a shower and she's hungry. What have I done? All in the name of frogs. Go away welcome wagon. I've been here for five days. You expect me to open the door to you now? Sarah and Simon Scott, absolutely not. Go away, I'm gonna leave you out in the thunderstorm. You don't even deserve to be my friend. That's so delayed. No wonder I only had flipping frogs to be my friends. Turn the freaking frogs gay. Oh, scenario complete. Oh, snap. I didn't realize I only needed one rare one. And we got ourselves the whirly flower, which feels great. I'm not I'm gonna lie, forgotten friends said the welcome wagon because yes, you, actually I should be the one. I'm the forgotten friend over here, okay? To all your friends who have to walk either in front of behind your group of friends on the pavement because they don't leave room for you. I'm here, besties. It actually really annoys me that that's not like completing the frog collection because yes, we got our whirly frog and I'm gonna put our some surfer back in. But if we go to collections, there's two frogs that we're still missing. I, I don't know, this might be me being picky. I kind of wish that they had just got us to find these two rare frogs. They also didn't ask us to get all of the uncommon ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. There's 11 uncommon ones. They only told us to get maybe six, was it? So I just overachieved on that one and I just so happened to find all of them. The dedication. I didn't even read how long that took me, but now I want to complete the whole thing. I feel like that is an itch that needs to be scratched. Congratulations on completing the scenario. As a reward, each sim in this household has earned satisfaction points. I kind of really like it. I'm fairly sure there was a scenario I did recently that kind of gave you an actual reward, like a physical one, instead of just having, maybe they gave you like one of the aspiration traits, which I also would like because I think that's fun because if you don't choose or like finish that aspiration, you still have a chance of doing it. Like it would kind of make sense if we had like a loves the outdoor aspiration trait or something like that. I just really think that that would be quite cute. Right, what are we actually missing? We're missing eggplant whirl and heart surfer. You know what? I figured out that I'm a completionist in video games when it comes to nature. That was really, really unsatisfying. But like Red Dead Redemption and stuff like that, I really want to like fill out the, is it the compendium? Is that what they call it? Like where all of the animals exist. It is quite nice that these are the four that I'm missing. Although the fact that we just got a freaking copy and paste is annoying. Do you reckon that's how parents feel when they see their kids grow up? And then it's just like a mini version of them and they're like, oh, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Like, I feel like we didn't really add anything new into the gene pool. Oh, look at me just staring 
staring at my whirly flower. You can tell who the favorite child is. How do I keep getting the same frogs? That's so unfair. I've put in all this hard work and for what? For absolutely f sod all in this game. These frogs ain't loyal. <gasps> we got the eggplant whirl. Oh yes! See, it's the basics. The basics carry you through. Get yourselves a base frog because they bring it every single time. Come on frogs, are you? You're pissing me off. I'm gonna set this house on fire with all of these frogs inside. You know how the Sims team said, I want you to make a hot frog broth? How about I make a multitude one? That would be worth thousands of smolians. Just look at how many rare frogs I have. Although frogs aren't actually that expensive. The rarest one is like 160 simoleons. I definitely thought that they'd sell for more. How did I piss myself? I'm at home. No, 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 no. Go away, send home, get out of here. I swear I get pleasure out of torturing myself in the Sims. I, that should not be a sentence I am saying. I've been recording for over an hour. This is what you get. This is the content that you're left with. Come on. Right, I'm switching it out. The surfer leaf frog can absolutely get in the bin. It's doing absolutely nothing for me. You know what is hilarious? All of the things that we found from Sulani have actually made us more money Oh my word, was that so difficult? They made us more money than all of the frogs probably put together. Go away, Makoa. I'm never entering this save file ever again. Look at my little froggo collection. This was absolutely not worth it. Not to shit on this scenario. I actually really, really like this scenario. It turns out that all of you thought I was being really, really harsh to the plant sim scenario. I just personally don't think the plant sim scenario was as fun as the original plant sim challenge that we got like years ago in The Sims 4. I can't help feeling that way. I would have preferred it if there was a little bit of story behind it, you know, like finding the forbidden fruit and all of that, but it just got given to you on a golden platter in your inventory. It was difficult. It did test me. This one wasn't quite as difficult. And I think especially if you look up like the page that I'm going to link below from Carl Sims Guides, if you have the table in front of you, this is actually pretty simple. It is annoyingly down to look based on how quickly or how slowly you'll do this. But I actually don't mind that. I think this was a super fun challenge. I think this is where scenarios shine personally. Like when it comes to collections you might not have done, scenarios you've never really played out in your game, discovering things that you probably have forgotten about if you did play with them like back in base game. I actually really really enjoyed this one. Probably helps that I do have an interest in frogs anyway. Make sure you start it before the end of it. It will tell you on the home screen. You you can start it and then you can forget about it and as long as it's active in your saves it will stay that way even if it does run out date wise. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you to the frogs for your service. You icon legends. You are the moment. I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now. I can't believe that was an hour and 20 minutes of my life that I'll just... I'll just never get back. I might upload this haunted attic room to my gallery so that if you ever want the full complete frog collection, you can have it. Honestly, that's the only validation I have in completing this. <laughs>